Hello, GW here, and welcome back to yet another video. I hope you all had a great Christmas and a happy New Year's Day celebration. There's a lot I have planned out for this year, but more on that in a later date. Today, I'll be showing you guys some of the new Rat 1 Fake Mom for the Constellar region and the Pikachu clone as well. There are a total of 7 new Pokemon in this video, so let's get right into it because I don't want to make this video way too long. So previously this guy was going to be the Route 1 bug, but with some new stat changes I gave it and its evolutionary line changing, that isn't the case anymore. So instead, I decided to go with a lovely arachnid for our Route 1 bug, even though spiders aren't technically bugs. My original idea was to make a trapdoor spider and a sedimentary rock combo with not much uniqueness to it as I didn't want to make a cluster design for a Route 1 Pokemon. I made the body resemble a sedimentary rock and kept the shape simple by making it a circular body. I even added a little patch of dirt and grass that it would wear since it's based on a trapdoor spider. After the initial design, I was 50-50 on it. And the reason why is because the design felt too simple and I felt like I executed the design idea pretty poorly. So I looked into more spiders and decided to base it off of a spiny orb weaver. This type of spider has spikes on its back and this worked perfectly for an idea I had in mind for its evolution. With the new base and this new idea, I started working on what is now the final design. This time I changed the head shape to make it more unique and stand out more. I took away from its trapdoor spider origin and gave it a body closely related to a spiny orb weaver. With the new design in place, I realized that changing the head shape and basing its body off of a spiny orb weaver was the best option. For its evolution, I based it off of a spiny weaver as well as a tarantula and made the spikes that spiny orb weavers have into drills. I also gave its abdomen some design similar to a spiny orb weaver while keeping the designs as close as possible to sedimentary rock colors. Though its body is composed of both a spiny orb weaver and tarantula, I will however be keeping its trapdoor spider origin in the form of its personality. Spiderman, the Earth Spider Pokemon. Spidermans aren't very aggressive, and so they let the adult hunt the food for them. A Spiderman's spikes help them protect them from any physical attack. Flying Pokemon tend to have them as lunch, so they stay on the ground in order not to get eaten. These Pokemon are great at hiding underground due to their hinds bearing resemblance to rocks. Satrapnid, the Trap Spider Pokemon. They set traps in order to catch live food to eat. It hunts for the young first and then Satrapnids will eat the leftovers. They're very protective towards their territory and if two Satrapnids of different areas meet, they'll fight. You can tell if an area is taken by a Satrapnid if there is a clear and clean circle on the ground with sticks as a border. So before we get started with the next Pokemon, I want to mention that starting now, I will also be explaining any new abilities that a fake mom may have. Originally, I did this only on my Instagram, which you guys should definitely check out. But I decided to also inform you guys on what the new abilities do as well. Webbed Trap When a Pokemon with this ability is sent out, it will set up a sticky web trap which lowers the speed of any Pokemon that touches it when sent out. Webbed Body The Pokemon with this ability is immune to all water type moves. And if the Pokemon with this ability is hit with a physical touching move, then its opponent's speed will go down as well. Pokemon with this ability will also take double damage done by fire type moves. For the Route 1 bird Pokemon, I've actually based it on the Caladurus. This bird was said to be a bird capable of healing and curing all illness. It would do so by absorbing all illnesses into its body and then flying to the sun to burn the illnesses away meanwhile the bird would be fine. The Caladrius is said to be a water bird known as a heron and so I based the first and second stage as a heron and the final evolution as the Caladrius. 
For the first stage, I kept it simple by just making it a heron. The heron already had a very interesting shape, so I wasn't worried about making it too simple like the bug fake mod. Originally, I wanted it to be more fluffy, but I changed that in order to simplify it a little bit more. I based it off of the baby heron, and so it has this interesting and weird pose, as well as some of its hair sticking out all crazy. For the second stage, I went with the same idea, but based it off of a fully matured heron. Now it has long legs that allow it to walk in shallow lakes and ponds that allow it to catch fish without causing too much attention in the water. I'm sure you also noticed I drew a snake on its leg and that is because I originally wanted to have a bird tie in with the Asclepius medical symbol. But I decided to recycle that idea for another video in order to simplify the bird a little bit more. And now finally the final evolution which is the idea that started the bird idea. The Caladrius Heron Bird Myth. I gave it large wings and a graceful pose for it while also looking up references on herons. I wanted to give it a more unique design than just a bigger heron so I added some color gradients to the tip of the wings and the puffy feathers on its chest. And I'm sure you guys also noticed the double snake on its neck which was going to be an idea that was based on the caduceus. But I also decided to recycle the idea. Micron, the small bird Pokemon. Microns are fragile and get scared of everything. They can only live if somebody is there to take care of them. They love to pick random objects up and this leads them to get in trouble with their caretakers. Microns have a fascination with looking at the sunrise. It's believed that they dream of touching the sun when they're able to fly one day. Nisiron, the long leg bird Pokemon. With the long legs it has, it loves to stay in the water. Their diet consists of small fish Pokemon, though they love Remoraids. Their eyes have a protective shield that allows them to look at the sun directly. Though they can fly, they prefer to stay in lakes and ponds. You will never find any of these Pokemon in the sea because of the salt water. Theradrius, the healer bird Pokemon. It is said that it can cure any ill being by taking in the illness. It then flies to the sun to burn off any illness it may carry and it comes back unscathed. Many do believe this is a sacred bird that was sent to protect all beings. It flies with such grace that its wings can't be heard flapping. People make garden statues of it for good health and prosperity. Malady Soaking Makes all Pokemon on the field immune to burn, poison, and paralysis. Will also cure these status effects if sent out while a Pokemon has the effects. Healing Plumage Will heal all Pokemon at the end of every turn by 1 16th of its max HP. This ability will also make the items Leftover and Black Sludge ineffective. Solar Immersion Will absorb any fire moves on the field while there is harsh sunlight. If this ability is successfully activated, this will cure it from burn, poison, and paralysis as well as heal one fourth of its max HP. And last but not least, it's now time for the Pikachu clone. Now some people like it when there is a new Pikachu clone every generation and some don't, but I personally don't mind the Pikachu clone. For the Pikachu clone, I had to keep some key features that you would see in every Pikachu clone. 1. It has to be cute. 2. It has to be primarily an electric type. And 3. It has to be based on some sort of rodent. So following all these factors, I decided to make it a combo of a chinchilla and a hedgehog. I also decided to base it off of a space heater, but not only that, I gave it an evolution that is also based on a heating blanket. I'm sure you guys can figure out what the final typing is now. At first I wanted to give it a more hedgehog like face for its first stage and it would also have the tail shape of a chinchilla. As for the evolution I made the spikes on it like a cape which it would also use as the heating blanket. 
The body patches it has on its design as well as the classic cheek pouch on the face would also create the heat, simulating a space heater. After the first rough sketch was done, I went back and changed a few things on both designs, with the tips that my close friends gave me as well as some other personal changes that I wanted to change. Starting off, the head of the first stage would be changed. This was to make it cuter by making it have a bigger forehead. After the change I made to the head, I kept the initial design for the rest of the body while fixing a few things here and there. As for the evolution, I removed a few things from the design and decided to give it a more round face as well as a fitting pose. By doing these very small changes, the Pikachu clone for the Constellar region came together nicely. Chinarmo, the spiky Pokemon. These Pokemon like to group together and snuggle. They will try to snuggle with other people and Pokemon, but the spikes hurt them instead. The spike coat it has is electrifying, and it can stun others for 10 seconds. Chinormos are warm when pet on the head. Thanks to this, they are often popular to pet in the winter seasons. Chilla, the cozy Pokemon. Chillas roll into a ball so that they can protect themselves. The patches on them produce both heat and electricity. They like to play hero because their pelt resembles a cape. This leads them to being selfless and kind. The pelt can extend to a max of 6 feet. This allows them to keep others warm. Its body and pelt can reach up to 50 degrees Celsius. Wow, that was a lot of Pikmon that we just went through. I'm finally glad that I was able to show you guys these new Constella region Pikmon. This year, I want to also go in depth with the human characters that you would meet in the Constella region and not just the Pikmon. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I have a lot of things planned out for this channel as I really want to make this my daily job at some point so I can focus more on my dream job with you guys. Now I hope you all like the fake mod and please let me know down below what your thoughts on them are as well as what your favorite one is and why. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.